I'm Jake Mans with HHJ Sports. Today we're going to go over our Virtus Rest. So as you'll see, I currently have my Virtus Rest mounted on a Hoyt bow, uh, but we do have a variety of different mounting options. You'll want to check out our website at hhasports.com to see the different models that we do carry. We'll go over a couple of the key features within the Virtus Rest. So the first thing is when you're mounting your rest to your bow, you'll notice that it's a cable driven rest. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you tie that rest into the downward cable. You'll wanna make sure that it's tied in parallel with the bottom of your bow's grip. And when you're drawing that bow and setting the timing for the draw cord, you'll wanna make sure that the rest is coming up within the last inch of the draw cycle. Uh, one of the common issues that we may see uh, with some of our consumers is that they're setting the draw cord a little bit too long. So you'll wanna make sure that it is short enough, allowing that rest to fully come all the way up. Another feature on the Virtus Rest is the lever arm. So I'm able to hold my bow like this and also raise my rest with my thumb. Uh, this is a nice feature that allows you to not have to bring that other arm over to the bow to raise the rest, which is ideal in any hunting situation. With every sale of a Virtus Rest, 2.2% of the proceeds from that rest goes back to HHA USA, our nonprofit. For more information on the Virtus Rest, you can visit our website at www.hhasports.com.